morning everyone. We are going to continue discussing operations on radical expressions and today I will be teaching you how to multiply radicals. Remember that in addition and subtraction of radicals, radicals should be like radicals. But in multiplication, you have to take note that radicals can be multiplied if and only if they are of the same order. So when do we say that radicals are of the same order? Radical expression with the same index are radicals of the same order. Order. So, kapag magkapareho ang index, regardless kung magkapareho o hindi ang radicand, it means that the radical expressions are of the same order. Hence, we can multiply if they are of the same order. You also need to remember the following. So, number one, if the radicals have the same index, multiply terms the outside the radical with the terms outside the radical and terms inside the radical with the terms inside the radical. It means that you are going to multiply coefficient to coefficient and then, of course, radicand to radicand. And then, you need to simplify the radicals and then you are going to multiply the terms outside the radical if you need to. So, let us begin with a few examples. For example, number 1, we have 3 square root of 2 multiplied by square root of 6. So again, you need to multiply terms outside the radical to outside the radical and then inside the radical to inside the radical. So we have 3, the numerical coefficient, and obviously it has a numerical coefficient of 1. So you multiply 3 times 1. And then inside the radical or the radicand, the radicand here is 2, the radicand here is 6. So you multiply 2 and 6. So we have 3 square root of 12. And then, of course, you need to simplify the radicals if necessary. Square root of 12 can be simplified. The correct factors are square root of 4 times 3. And again, we use the law of radicals. It can be written as 3 times the square root of 4 times the square root of 3. And then we need to simplify square root of 4, which will give us 2. And then, of course, this is multiplication so you have 3 times 2 so we have 6 square root of 3 and this is your final answer because it is already in the simplest form again you are going to multiply coefficient to coefficient and then radicand to radicand and then simplify if necessary let us proceed with example number 2. So we have here square root of 12x multiplied by the square root of 8xy. So in here, you are just going to multiply the radicands. So we have 12x multiplied by 8xy. It will give us 96x squared y. Of course, this expression can be simplified the correct factors of 96 are we have 6 times 6 and then you just copy x squared and then also you are going to copy y. Then we are going to combine these two expressions since this can be simplified and then we are going to combine also that one. Because if we simplify 16x squared, it will give us 4x square root of 16 is 4, square root of x squared is 4. And then you just copy this expression. This cannot be simplified. So we have square root of 6y. So the final answer is 4x square root of 6y. Another way of multiplying this is instead na i-multiply nyo tong dalawang radicand, we can simplify first this before multiplication. Again, ang ginawa natin dito is we multiply then simplify. But you can also simplify first before you multiply. Okay, if we simplify 12x, the factors are 4 times 3x. If you simplify 8xy, actually that is 4 and then we have here 2xy. Again, this should be 2xy. And then if we simplify this, square root of 4, that is 2. And then square root of 4, that is also 2. The remaining expression here is 3x. And then the remaining expression here is 2xy. You are going to multiply coefficient to coefficient. 2 times 2, that is 4. Then you are going to multiply 3x and then 2xy. It will give us 6xy. Now, where did we get x here? Yes, we have here the square root of x squared and then the answer is x. That's why we have here 
4x and then the remaining is 6y, that is why the answer is 4x square root of 6y, just like what we have here in our first example. Let us proceed with example number 3. I have here 2 square root of x multiplied by 5 square root of 6x multiplied by square root of 2x. You are going to multiply the coefficient. So we have 2 times 5 and then multiply by 1. So 2 times 5 times 1, that is 10. And then you are going to multiply the radicand x times 6x times 2x, that is 12x cubed. Again, if you multiply, we have here 10 square root of 12x cubed. Again, we can simplify 12x cubed. The correct factors of 12 is 4 times 3. The factors of x cubed, that is x squared and x. We are going to combine these two because this can be simplified and also combine terms that cannot be simplified. We are going to copy the coefficient in here, and then the square root of 4x squared is 2x, and then you just copy square root of 3x. You multiply 10 times 2x, multiply by square root of 3x, that's why the answer is 20x square root of 3x. I hope you can follow. Now let us proceed with example number 4. We have here square root of 2 plus square root of 3 multiplied by the quantity square root of 2 minus square root of 3. We have here two binomials that are radical expression. Take note, this is an example of sum and difference of two binomials because we have the same first term and then we have the same last term. The operation here is addition and the operation here is subtraction so again this is an example of sum and difference of two binomial to simplify the rule is correct we have square the first term minus square the last term so your first term is square root of u do you need to square and then minus our second term or last term is square root of three you need to square if you do that square root of two squared obviously that will become two and then square root of three squared that is three so you have two minus three that is why the answer is negative one and then for example number 5, I have here 5x cube root of 9x squared y multiplied by 2y squared cube root of 15x squared. Again, we have here coefficient to coefficient and then we have radicand to radicand. If we multiply 5x times 2y squared, the answer is 10xy squared. And if we multiply 9x squared and 15x squared y squared, the answer is 135x to the fourth y cubed. This expression can be simplified. What are the correct factors? Yes, the correct factors are 27 times 5 and 27 is a perfect cube. Yung x to the fourth natin, if a factor din natin, we have x cubed times x and then you just copy y cubed. We are going to combine 27, x cubed and y cubed because it has a cube root or it is a perfect cube. And then you are going to combine 5 and x because it cannot be simplified. And we are going to get the cube root of this expression. You are just going to copy 10xy squared. The cube root of 27x cubed y cubed is 3xy. And then you just copy the last term. You are going to multiply these two expressions. That is why the answer will be 10xy squared multiplied by 3xy is 30x squared y cubed. And then you are just going to copy cube root of 5x. Again, the answer is 30x squared y cubed cube root of 5x. Now let us consider the next example. We have here 4 root of 4 multiplied by the cube root of 2. What have you noticed? Okay, good. You are going to notice that they have different indices. The index here is 4 and then the index here is 3. So based on the rule, you cannot multiply those radicals that are not of the same order, meaning to say those with different indices. Now, what are we going to do if you have different indices? We have here 4 raised to 1 fourth multiplied by 2 raised to 1 third. So anong ginawa natin? 
Yes, we express radical expressions with rational exponent. Again, yung ating radical expression, we express it as rational exponent. So, yung fourth root of 4 natin becomes 4 raised to 1 fourth. And then, yung cube root of 2 natin becomes 2 raised to 1 third. The exponent now are 1 fourth and 1 third. This rational exponent can be expressed as similar fraction. So what are we going to do? Yes, 1 fourth can be expressed as 3 over 12 and 1 third can be expressed as 4 over 12. So pareho na sila nang magiging pareho na ang kanilang index if we write it into radical expression. This can be written as 12th root of 4 cube and this can be written as 12th root of 2 to the 4th. And then, what are we going to do? 4 cube, 4 times 4 times 4, that is 64. And then 2 to the 4th, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, that is 16. Again, pareho na sila ng Index. So, pwede na nating i-multiply. You are going to multiply 64 and 16. That's why the answer is 12th root of 1024. And 12th root of 1024 cannot be simplified. So, this will be your final answer. So, again, if the radicals have different indices, anong gagawin natin? We are going to express it into rational exponent. And then, kapag fraction na ang ating exponent, pwede natin gawing similar fractions. And then, pag similar fraction na, ibabalik natin sa radical expressions. They already have the same index, so you can already multiply the two expressions. So again, in multiplication of radicals, you have to make sure that the radicals are of the same order. Meaning to say, the indices of the radicals are the same. So you are going to multiply coefficient to coefficient and then we have radicand to radicand. After multiplying, make sure all the radicals are in the simplest form and then you multiply outside the radical if it is necessary. That is how we multiply radical expression. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.